Look, if you are still manually dialing up your leads and wasting hours every day talking to unqualified prospects and burning out your sales team, you are my friend doing it completely wrong. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can dial up thousands of people every day without hiring a single person. Now, I know this sounds too good to be true. So let me explain quickly. The thing I'm talking about right here is an AI that can call and talk on the phone. Yes, you heard that completely right. An autonomous AI agent that can handle phone calls for your business that will talk on the phone and book appointment with your prospect over the phone. Look, this is not a theory, not a hype. This is 2025 and we already have this technology here. It's your choice. You want to use it or you just want to put your head under the sand. Look, if you don't believe me, I completely understand, but you're going to have to watch this video till the very end to really understand what this is because I'm going to create the AI agent from scratch and then I will show you a demo after which you are definitely going to use this for your business. With that said, let's start building this. Now let's actually start building this AI voice agent. It's super easy to build. The only software you are going to need is retail AI. So search up for retail AI. You will come right here. Here you can maybe log in or sign up. So I have provided a link in the description. If you use that, you will literally get 60 minutes of free talk time. So 60 minutes would be enough to build and test your first AI agent at least. And then you will basically launch it and call all your leads and book them into an appointment, right? So once you come here, first thing you're going to do is go to phone numbers and click right here on plus icon and buy a phone number. So whatever your area code is, according to that, buy a phone number. Then you will come into knowledge base. Again, you will click on this plus icon. You will click on add and you will click here where it says add web pages. Here you will basically enter your website URL. If you don't have your website URL, then you can upload a file with all the information about your company. Now you will come to agents. So here you will click on create an agent and you will click on single prompt agent. That is enough. Something like this will open up, but it would be blank, right? But don't worry, I will provide this entire script. And you might be wondering, this script looks a bit different from other creators out there or other people who build AI voice agent is because I prompt the agent in JSON. So instead of using the natural language, it have the elements of natural language, but they are packaged inside of a JSON scheme. So that's why I do it like this, but I'll explain it to you. So don't worry. And at the end, I just give it an example in natural language. So that's how my thought process looks like. By the way, I'll give this entire prompt in the description. So you don't have to worry. I'll quickly explain how this prompt is structured. First, you will give it a goal. So whatever the goal of the agent is, so booking appointment, qualifying or whatever it is, and then you will just give it a name. So the role, it's an outbound sales agent, AI receptionist, or uh, whatever it is. Then you will give it a couple of dynamic variables. It will depend on your industry. So if you want the name, the company name and their email, you can do so. Now, basically you will give it some skills. So you're very good at building relationships. You handle objections effectively and stuff like that. And then you will give some rules. So always aim to collect user's email. Yeah, you don't need to confirm it. Also discuss information in the script. If answer is not covered, like for, for example, if someone asks, uh, what's the color of the sky? It's irrelevant, right? You, then you should have a guardrail and then steps. So basically what step the AI agent should follow. So if you have done any kind of prompting, then you would understand that LLM models perform really good when they are given examples, when they are given step-by-step -step structure, how they need to conduct a specific task. There's the reason why we are giving this AI agent steps. When the call starts, greet them, and then if they have questions, handle them, and then schedule a follow-up call, then try to collect their email. And at the last, close the call. And in case they say they do not want to be disturbed again or do not want to be called again, basically end the call and remove them from the list. And at the last, we just give it an example dialogues. Now for welcome message, you can choose three options. Either you can have it where the AI said something random, or you can define a particular first message. Or what I like to do is keep the AI agent silent unless the prospect from the other side says hello or something like that. Now for functions, you just need to add the end call function. So click on add, click on end call and here just save it. Once you save it, just mention that end call function. So at the end of the call, run end call function as I have mentioned here. And also here you can mention run do not call function and run end call function. I already told you to add a knowledge base. So you will just click here, add and your knowledge base will pop up here. You will just click on it and add that. Now speech settings. So basically when the AI agent is talking to a prospect, what should be the background voice? And then how responsive should the AI agent be? So for example, when the prospect replies to something, how quickly the AI agent should reply back. Then interruption sensitivity. Whenever the prospect interrupts the AI, how quickly or how slowly the AI should stop speaking. So that's the thing. And then these are not very important. Now call settings. So basically whenever you are making phone calls to a list of phone number, should the AI leave a voicemail if 
the AI wasn't able to reach them. So you can choose those things. And for example, if they don't answer anything, when should the AI hang up? Like what's the minimum time after being silent, the AI should hang up maximum duration of call. So again, this is some guardrail here. So for example, someone is messing up with your AI agent or you just want to save your tokens from being wasted unnecessarily. You can have a maximum limit. If the call goes beyond that particular limit, the AI will just hang up. Now post call analysis, this will entirely depend on your industry and how much information you need. So for example, we are also qualifying them right here. So we want to collect their email, appointment time, appointment date. So if there is no email, we just disqualify them. So for example, for this particular client, if the answer to interested or not is no. So basically they said they are not interested. We disqualify them because my client doesn't want to waste the time talking to people who are not even interested in the first place. So the way you will add this is click on add, click on text. And here inside of this, you will just enter this. So collect email, uh, write this description and give it an example. In this way, it will send the data back. So this is really important to give it an example. Again, here you can add this one and this one as well. Now for this particular client, we don't directly book the appointment inside of the calendar, but in case you want the AI agent to directly book the prospect inside of a calendar, you can do that as well. So click on functions, click on add. And here first you will add check calendar availability. So you can directly connect to your cal.com calendar or any other calendar that have API integration, right? So I'll just show you an example for cal.com. So we'll search up cal.com and just log in there. And then you will click on settings. You will click on API keys. You just click on add, name it, whatever you want. All right. And save it. Just copy that key right there. Paste it right here. Then we'll go back and just click on new and you can create a new calendar, but I don't need one. I already have a calendar. So after creating the calendar, you will copy this right here where it says five, one, eight, five, right? So this is your calendar ID. You'll go back to your retail agent. You will paste it right there and you will save it. Now you will add the next thing, which is book on the calendar. After the AI agent checks the calendar availability, it also needs to book. So here again, you will paste the same API key and the same calendar ID from your cal.com calendar ID. So save it. Now the only thing you need to do is just copy the name of the function and refer that function based on the context. So for example, in this script, I can run that function right here. So run check calendar availability function. So after checking the calendar availability, the AI agent would ask something like this. So these times are available and I can book you in for that time. So if the prospect says yes, what we want to do is we want to run the booking function as well. So here we'll say run book appointment function and then say Perfect, my human eye computer. So the AI agent will run this function and book the appointment while saying this particular sentence. So yeah, that's super easy and straightforward to set up appointment booking. With that, your AI agent is completely done. You don't have to worry about the rest of the setting. So in case your industry requires to opt out certain details while on the call, you can just toggle this on and toggle this off based on your industry. Now I'll show you how you can actually make the phone calls. So. Go back to the dashboard, click on batch calling here. We'll click on create a batch call. Now you will just download a template and this is how you need to structure your CSV file. So I'll show you first of phone number, then you can have name, name. So I have entered my phone number there and you can play with multiple dynamic variables. But this is all right. You literally need a phone number. And if you have name, company name and rest of the data and it requires, then you can have those things as well. I will just come back here and click here to upload. So just select the file and you will select the phone number. So I already told you to buy a phone number right now. All you have to do is click on send. That's it. So now. And so by the way, you can receive the phone call directly on the phone but I will receive the phone call right here to show you guys. Right there. Hi, this is Bob, an AI agent calling on behalf of Infinity Video Walls. We offer the only LED signs with plug and play technology with no monthly client fees, um, lifetime software training for your clients on your behalf and uh, guaranteed three week delivery time with a five year warranty. Are you um, currently exploring options to enhance your client's signage with a high quality LED displays? Um, no, not interested. I understand. 
Many of our clients felt the same initially, but found significant value in our solutions. Would it hurt to set up a quick call to explore ideas later? Would no. today or tomorrow no, work? I'm not interested at all. I am sorry if I offended you in any way, shape or form. My intention was just to help you with our program. But I respect that, and I assure you that you will never receive a call from us again. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Now, after making the phone call, you can just come back here and call. click on call history. Here you can literally select all the filters and have it where you know like these calls were successful or not. So just click on filters, click on was the call successful or not. And here you have all the successful call and now you can do whatever you want. Now you don't have to waste your time on the calls that were not successful or the people who were not qualified uh, yet. With that said, I have showed you how you can create an AI agent inside this software and have it where it calls all your leads, qualifies them, book an appointment with them and show you the data as well. Now, if you want to go one step further, maybe connect this AI software to a Google Sheet, to a CRM software and have it, it makes decision based on the data present in your CRM software or just update or interact with the CRM in the back end. I have a separate advanced video on that. So you can click right here on this video to learn that. With that said, wait for the next one.